Okay, so I formed that PHP file. Open in PHP tag, we check if post is present. Okay, now we create an array called expected. And we simply list the fields which we are expecting to receive via post. So full name and email. Okay, then we create a validation array. Now this validation array will contain basically the the warning messages uh, for our uh, for our field. So full name index will have please provide your full oops full name comma sorry colon sorry comma <laughs> Then we have email. This one will have um, please provide your valid email address. And that's it for this one. Then we have errors. Empty array. We'll simply collect all problems here. And output array. We won't be using output array if you decide later on to do something with this data, which I'm assuming you will. Then obviously you will be able to populate all this valid uh, uh, submitted information uh, from this from within this array. Okay, so now we uh, do a for each loop, and we're going to be looping through our expected array as key. And the first thing we're going to be doing is we check if array key exists and it's our key inside of the post array else if it hasn't been found in our post array then we are adding uh, the validation message together with the key to our errors array so errors with the key equals validation with our key as well basically this key because obviously we're looping through three expected full name if it hasn't been found in our post then pass this full name to our array uh, errors array and populate the message assigned to the same key and, and obviously assign this to to the specific key inside of the inside of the uh, uh, the errors array okay so that's when it doesn't exist and if it does uh, then obviously we check in if empty post with our key basically if the value was empty do something else do something else if it was empty then we simply copy this error because we do exactly the same we add this to the errors array otherwise we add this to the output array key and we simply put post key which basically gives us the value of the uh, from that field specific field Okay, so we're looping through all these um, expected keys. Now we simply check if is an empty errors array. That means that obviously there are some problems. Else, we're going to do something else. First, let's deal with the problems. So we create array and we put uh, the first key will be error and the status will be true. So we have a problem here. There is an error. And the fields key will have all our errors assigned to it. We can copy this entire thing. Else, error will be false. And instead of fields, we're going to have message. We can actually create this message here, which will be, uh, let's put it within the H3 tag you have successfully subscribe successfully subscribe to our newsletter you obviously can put whatever suits you most here and now let's pass this message as a second argument of our array okay right at the end once we've got these array created simply echo json encode because we're passing this to our as json 
as you may remember if we go to functions.js you can see the data type is json so we have to pass the array here uh, json formatted we pass our array which is the response and that's everything in our form obviously if we're talking about real life situation you would obviously want to process the the fields here so you, let's say let's put here some process form so let's say you want to mail it to someone or do whatever else you can add it in uh, insert all the information to the database basically this is the successful part of this form 